Welcome back. So we warmed up but really couldn't lose the clouds as we made our way through the day today. Let's take a look at our tower cam time lapse from our regional west weather camera in Scotts Bluff with mainly cloudy skies throughout the day and just a few peaks of sunshine, especially later on into the day. And uh, temperatures are still below where they should be this time of year, which is the lower 50s. High temperature of 46 in Scotts Bluff, closer to 50 at Torrington. And with that downslope wind, 59 your high at Wheatland. But cooler as you make your way further east, mid to upper 30s out toward Alliance, Gordon, Shadron, closer to 40 down toward Sydney and at Kimball. Temperatures outside look like this right now. Into the lower 30s, Scotts Bluff up toward Hemingford, Harrison, Bridgeport, Oshkosh, lower 30s at Kimball and Sydney. A lot warmer out toward Wheatland and Chugwater into the mid 40s to near 50 degrees. There's your wind, mainly from a southerly direction, a little more of a westerly component in uh, southeastern Wyoming. Wind speeds right now 10 to 15 miles per hour and here is where some of the strongest wind gusts are. We're seeing wind gusts on this map uh, 20 to 40 miles per hour, depending on where you are. That nice southerly flow will keep us relatively mild as we go through the evening along with the cloud cover. Here's a look at the alerts. Now, the lighter brown shading, that is a high wind warning in effect until 6 a.m., including Wheatland, Chugwater, and Laramie in our viewing area. Uh, the watch is in effect for between Cheyenne and Laramie. That does go until uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Now, the satellite and radar shows that we do have mostly cloudy skies across the region. We do have a band of some snow showers back here west of I-25. This activity is a cold front. It does make its way through during the overnight. Could have a few uh, passing rain showers or snow showers. Could be even some freezing rain along the I-80 corridor tonight. High pressure is exiting. We got a little bit of a surge of uh, slightly warmer air. Not really that warm, though. Low pressure system is moving to our north. Lots of snow up in that direction. We're going to get the system's cold front and then behind that more high pressure. So we will stay mainly dry. Another winter storm misses us off to the north. So as we go through the rest of the evening, watch out into our southern counties in the Panhandle, especially between Oshkosh and Sydney around 3, 4 a.m. The system could come th through with some light freezing rain, mainly dry elsewhere with temperatures into the lower 30s. In fact, with temperatures like this, it could just be plain rain. So uh, most of us staying dry, though. Now, that's going to be a memory by the afternoon tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, high temperatures into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. We're going to keep mostly clear skies as we go through the overnight. Temperatures falling back to near 20 to start off Sunday. And Sunday's highs will be a little cooler with most of us in the lower 40s, but still a good amount of sunshine. So there's that major winter storm to our north, developing even more as it taps into the moisture from the Gulf. But we stay mainly dry, mainly a westerly component dry flow for us. We're on the system's cool side for Sunday. And then we will really start to warm up, especially Monday to Tuesday of next week. Nice southerly wind and still mainly dry. Nice warm surge of air. Let's take a look at the temperature outlook for the third week of March. And we're staying cooler than average. Now, average highs around this time of year, around 55, 56 degrees, maybe into the upper 50s. So we look to be below that. We've just been so cool that uh, it feels like our average highs should be uh, into the upper 30s, but that's not the case. So even below average, we can still be into the 40s. And as for the moisture, it looks like we're moving into the spring season. Could have a few more snow showers, but we're seeing more rain showers on the map. So we'll see if that trend continues through the third week of March. Now, here's a look at the extended forecast. We're at 50 for tomorrow, mostly sunny by the afternoon, 42 on Sunday, cooler air filters in, but still sun sunshine. Uh, 53 on Monday, 65 on Tuesday. There's that really warm surge of air, partly cloudy and partly cloudy near 60 on Wednesday. Wednesday night, maybe some rain showers or rain snow mixed through the day on Thursday. Just a chance, though. Partly cloudy skies. Otherwise, a little breezy high of 41 and 41 again for St. Patrick's Day next Friday. We should stay dry with partly cloudy skies. Angel? Thanks, Justin. Now to one of the first signs of spring, moving your clocks ahead to daylight savings time. And